In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply algebraic fractions. To multiply algebraic fractions, you simply multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then cancel down. Or you can cancel down and then multiply, and I'll show you how to do both techniques for some of the examples. So, in this question, we're going to do a times c, well that's a c, remember in algebra you just put them beside each other. And then we're going to do b times a, in alphabetical order, well that's a b. Then we're going to cancel down, well, because we've got timesing by a and timesing by a, a times c and a times b, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by a to leave you with just c over b. Or a divided by a, they just cancel out and that leaves you with c over b. And that's it. Let's have a look and see how to do it uh, by cancelling down before you multiply. So if you've got a over b times c over a, well, because you've got a on the numerator and then the denominator, because you know that whenever you do a times c, you get a c, and b times a, you get a b, you know you're going to be able to cancel out the a's. So that means that if you've got uh, terms that will cancel out one on the numerator of the other, and one on the denominator of the other, you can cancel them out before you multiply. So a divided by a is one, or they cancel out, and that'll leave you with just one and one. One times c is c, and b times one is b. So you can actually cancel out before you multiply, and you will get the same answer. Next question, we have got 3w over 5y times 2y over 3w. Again, we can just multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. w times y is wy. And on the denominator, 5 times 3 is 15. And y times w in alphabetical order is wy. Now, 6 and 15, well, they were cancelled down. 6 over 15. Well, that would, because they're both in the 3 times tables, that'll be 2 over 5. And w divided by w, well, they will just cancel out y divided by y, well they just cancel out, so our answer is actually just two fifths. In this example, we've got two c cubed over w times three w cubed over c. So timesing the numerators, well two times three is six, c cubed times w cubed, well that's c cubed, w cubed. And under the denominator, w times c, cw. Now just cancelling down, well, c uh, cubed divided by c, well c cubed divided by c, We'll leave you with c squared. Uh, so we can just cancel those and just leave us with c squared. And w cubed divided by w, again, we'll leave us with uh, w squared. So we've got 6 c squared w squared. Alternatively, you could have cancelled down before you began. So, uh, so you would have 2c cubed over w times 3w cubed over c. And just cancelling down before you begin, well, then the c uh, cubed divided by c will leave you with c squared w cubed divided by the w will leave you with w squared and then you just multiply so 2c squared times 3w cubed will be 6c squared w squared okay now in this example we've got x plus 3 over 5 times 2 over x plus 1 now you may notice that we've got more than one term on the numerator here and more than one term on the denominator here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check if i can factorize these so well x plus 3 no it can't factorize it x plus 1, nope, can't factorize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in a bracket and I'm just going to multiply and then cancel down if possible. So I'm going to do 2 times the x plus 3. So what I do is I just write the 2 and then put a bracket and then write x plus 3. I'm just going to leave it like so. And then I'm going to do the 5 times the x plus 1. Again, I'm just going to put them beside each other. So I'll just do 5 bracket x plus 1. Now let's see if I can cancel down with the 2 and the 5. Well, they won't cancel down. And the x plus 3 and the x plus 1, well, they're, they're not the same, and they can't be factorized, uh, so we can't cancel those down. So that's it, we're done. Okay, our next example. Now, this time we've got x minus 2 over 4 times 12 over 2x minus 4. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've got more than one term on the numerator and more than one term on the denominator here. I'm just going to check if I can factorize either one of them. Well, the x minus 2 can't be factorized. But actually, if you look here, the 2x minus 4, that can be factorized. This term here can be factorized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just write the sum out again. And I'm actually just going to factorize that denominator. So we've got 2x minus 4. Well, let's take a 2 out. So we've got 2 and then bracket x minus 2. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. If you wanted to cancel out, you could cancel out at this point the x minus 2 and the x minus 2. You could actually, actually cancel down the 12 and the 4 and so on. Um, but let's just multiply here. So x minus 2 times 12, well that's 12 bracket x minus 2. 
and 4 times 2 bracket x minus 2. Well, let's multiply the 4 and the 2. That gives us 8. And then we've got our x minus 2. Now, this time you'll notice that we've got the same bracket on the numerator and on the denominator. These brackets will actually cancel out, so let's just cancel those out. You can divide both the top and the bottom by x minus 2. And so we're left with 12 over 8. And they're both in the 4 times table, so that's going to leave you with 3 over 2. So that's our answer, 3 over 2, or 1 and a half over 1. So that's it. So my technique there was to, first of all, check quickly if I could factorise any of the expressions. So I could factorise the 2x minus 4, and I'd done that. Then I multiplied the numerators and the denominators, like so. And then I just checked if I could cancel anything out, and that was it. Okay, let's look at one final example. Now this time I've got x plus 3 over x squared plus 10x plus uh, 25 times x squared plus 5x over x squared plus 3x. So first of all, let's just check if I can factorise anything. Well, the x plus 3 here can't be factorised, so I'm just going to write that down. And then over. Now this is a quadratic, and it probably will factorise. I'm guessing it will do. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got a quadratic. We've got x at the front of both brackets. The numbers in this case will times together to be 25 and add together to be 10. So it's going to be plus 5 and plus 5. So we've got x plus 5 and x plus 5 on the denominator there. Now let's just factorise the top line here. We've got x squared plus 5x. Well, x is a common factor, so I'm just going to take x outside of the brackets to leave us x bracket x plus 5. And on the denominator, we've got x squared plus 3x. Again, x is a common factor, so let's take the x out. So we've got x bracket x plus 3. Okay, so we've, uh, we've factorised. Now what I'm going to do is we're just going to multiply them together. Again, if you wanted to cancel here, you could cancel the x plus 3, the x plus 3. You can actually cancel the x plus 5 and the x plus 5, and these x's as well. I'm just going to multiply and then cancel it down, because that's been the technique I've used for most of my examples so far. So I'm just going to put this in a bracket, because it's on a numerator on its own. And we're going to multiply the top lines and multiply the bottom lines. So multiplying the top lines, we've got our x on its own, so let's just put that at the front, and then we've got x plus 3, and we've got our x plus 5. Let's just check we've got everything, we've got x, x plus 3, and x plus 5. And let's just check the denominator one, so we've got our x plus 5, our x plus 5, our x, and our x plus 3. So let's put the x at the front on its own, and then let's put our x plus 5, x plus 5, and x plus 3. So x plus 5, x plus 5, and finally, x plus 3. And now we just need to cancel them down. So we've got an x and an x. Well, they will cancel out. We've got a x plus 3 and an x plus 3. We've got an x plus 5 and an x plus 5. So it just leaves us with 1 on the top line on its own. So 1 over. And then we've got our x plus 5. And that's it. So we have multiplied these fractions together. And they look quite complicated. And then we've got a nice simple answer once we've cancelled it all down. And that's it.